Grab an oversized button-up top and cut off the arms, the collar, and the yoke in the back to flatten the box pleat. And seam rip the pocket. Lay a top down the center of the shirt and cut around one side of the shirt, including the sleeve. Remove the shirt and fold it in half and finish cutting the other side. Sew the front and back shoulder and sides together. Serge or zigzag stitch prevent fraying. Serge or zigzag stitch to prevent fraying. Try the top on and make any adjustments. Mark and cut where you want the neckline to be. Cut one sleeve into two rectangles, at least five or so inches wide and 10 to 20 inches long once it's all sewn together. The longer it is, the more gathered and full it will look. Mine here was about 15 inches long and five inches wide. Sew the rectangles into a tube Then sew a basting stitch along one side. Gather the basting stitch gently to fit the sleeve opening. Repeat with the other sleeve. Turn the shirt right side out and pull the sleeve end into the ruffle opening, pinning right sides together. Sew them up. Hem the bell sleeve with a rolled hem by sewing a quarter inch twice. Sew the neckline under with that same rolled hem. Try to be careful here not to stretch or pull too much because it can make your neckline all warped or roll forward. Hem the bottom if you need. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and visit cottonandcurls.com for more DIYs.